the corruption is too much. But I want you to understand one thing. The truth you say today will save you tomorrow. And also, he will save your born children or born one. Some of those of you that are always like to insult people when they say the truth, I'll be expecting you guys to say something about an amber election. About five days now, I keep quiet, posting all the evil that are happening in that election ground. And the none of you, not even one, that will always attack, uh, attack me, that I have come to condemn evil. But when I say the truth, you are busy gossiping, bombarding, but I don't care. The gossipers and the bombard are always be at the back, but I must say the truth. If you will you to continue with the foundation of our elders, a time will come that nobody will live up to 50 years. I'm telling you the truth. I fear nobody. Only thing I fear is God and the truth, and the God is the truth. I don't respect your position, I don't respect your money, I don't respect your chieftaincy. As far as you cannot say the truth, as far as you cannot do the right thing, I don't regard you as a good person. Whenever you see good, you keep quiet. What happened in Anambara a day election? I'm expecting you guys to say something. But all of you are keep quiet. I think you guys say one man, one vote. How can somebody come to vote without a voter's card? The party will give him voter's card, give him 5,000. And all of you are keeping quiet. But you tell us you are elders. Oh, even those ones we call our elders and the mothers. Is it not both of them, those ones we call mothers are distributing voter's card for people? Apuga Party will print their own voters' card. PDP will print. APC will print. He hire people from all over the corner to vote for them and pay them 5,000. Child. And we think we are going, we are doing it lightly. We are not doing it. Both you, pastor, both you, traditional ruler, Igwe, both you, politician, honorable, you are not doing it well. Think. We are not making, we are not favoring ourselves. Somebody will vote more than seven times. I saw one guy, many of them, you see a guy carry about four to six barrel paper. Putting it one after the other in a in a in a in a in a, in a box, and the, the uh, what do you call it? INEC are there, police are there, the uh, security of the parties are there because they have bribed with money. They want to prove IPO belong, but then go for a number of people. I still expect you guys. I remove my car for you guys. Anambra population is more than 7 million, but with a greater joy in my heart that the people are now understanding what we are saying about the freedom. It's only about 400 and something people that recorded vote. Although that we know that people that have come out to vote is not up to 100,000. Because I have been there, I will have worked with government and know what is there. If you get a vote of uh, 1,007, they will wrote it in 17,000 and they, they will ask other party to sign it, they will bribe them. They did it to me last time, 2007, uh, uh, during the last uh, election. In our welfare market, I said it to last time. In a line, come conquered line, they threatened me to kill me, but my joy is that I stand in the truth. And they, it's no longer that very party that tried to bribe me win. And then now, everybody is now quiet. Nobody wants to talk. 
None of them want to comment in those videos now. They are no longer seeing my post. But when I say the truth, you will always like to attack me, to insult me. But I don't blame you. That is the nature of the world. If I talk about sex now, post it. Before you know it, about 60 to 100,000 people will watch it. But when you come to the truth, you hear the truth, you cannot share it to another person to learn. You cannot comment. Because it's something that will change our life. The people that we come with us, age of 50 off, are the ones that are destroying the future of their children. And we are keeping quiet. And the some will tell you, uh, say, um, um, politics is a dirty game. But when they come to our church, do donation, we serve them, clap for them. When they come to the kingdom where you belong, as a Igwe, as a Oba, as a prince, they give you five million. You pray for them, carry the, the order in your, in, in, your, in your kingdom, press upon their shoulder, say that you shall be well with them because they give you money. You are busy grabbing, grabbing uh, the head of dead people and leave the life one behind. You are busy pursuing money that draw the head of dead ones, but you are busy leaving your children somewhere. Some others will say uh, politics is a dirty game. You preach about Moses, the leaders. You preach about uh, Joseph, Gideon, Jephthah. You talk about them, David. Even our Lord, Savior Jesus Christ, you preach them. Jesus did not behave like this, whom we serve today as God, as our Savior. A time came, he picked his stick, pursued every way from church. See, the here is the house of God. It's not made for thief. Let me leave you with this. I P O P have done the best. They have given us confidence that Anambra people are, and all the I P O P all over the world have given us confidence that any day our a referendum announced that we are going to get 99.9 .9 because the population in Anambra is more than 6 million and out of that 6 million 400 and something thousand people came out and vote as they said let us join them as they said so I'm glad those that are saying that the IPOP have not done right how much did we need to get? How much? We get about 75% of the masses in Anambra. I mean 85% of masses in Anambra. So, if it is a, a, a country that have constitution, that election we are not supposed to hold because not up to 30 people give their support for that election. So we found out that that election is zero. We know what happened there. We know what happened there. But to thank God, very soon freedom will march. We get our freedom. We get out from the hand of these deep, wicked elders and the wicked spiritual leaders, political leaders, and all these evil men that we refuse to talk. I don't care about your certificate without satisfaction. I don't care about it. Your position, only in the million days, only in some million or so. A leader where there is have a follower, or an answer without the easy, or an answer without your heart, a good easy. So you guys should think very well. But I leave IPOP, Mazen Nam Dekano, with this wonderful prayer in Zachariah chapter 9, chapter Zachariah. Yes? Oh my God. Sorry. Zechariah chapter 9. Verse. Zechariah chapter 4, verse 9. Sorry. He said, The hand of Zerubbabel have laid the foundation of this building, and the hand will finish it. So the hand of IPOP have laid the foundation of freedom of Igbo people and other tribes around them. And I pray that the mass in and the other IPOP worldwide, the freedom fighter, in the man, we finish it. 
So God bless you. God bless you. Share the video. Thank you.